Hey guys, it's Holly from superholly.com. Today I'm going to show you how I fixed this wall that had kind of this awkward light switch in the middle of the action. So I went ahead and did a little DIY cover that you can open and close so it's super functional and beautiful. Your first step is gonna to be to measure the faceplate just to see how big of a box you're going to need. And then I went to Michael's and they have a very nice selection of boxes. And you're gonna look for one that has a hinge on the side. So one like this one, in addition to being too big and too bulky, the hinge is in the wrong place. This one on the other hand has a very nice shape. It's close to a square and the hinge is on the side. It's perfect for what we're trying to do. Next step is marking the box. So the faceplate of the light switch was five by five inches and you're gonna try to center that. Then get out your drill and make four holes in the corners of that square. For this next step, if you don't have a really awesome electric saw, you can just go to Home Depot where I got this jab saw. And what you're gonna do is cut out the square where the light switch is gonna go. <laughs> the wood definitely wasn't the best quality in the world, so sanding was an important step. Let's see how it turned out. Yep, looks like it's gonna work. Next, I went ahead and spray painted the entire box white. And I found a cool picture on an Etsy shop. I'm gonna link it below. It costs $5, I think, to download the JPEG, and then I just sent it to Walgreens directly online so that they could print it out on an eight by 10 piece of paper. Once you get your photo, cut it down to size, and we are going to adhere it to the box with some Mod Podge. This stuff is so fun to work with. Put a little bit under the picture, and then a little bit over. Or a lot. <laughs> If you find that you put too much Mod Podge on, don't worry, you can just go back through with a paintbrush and wipe it off into a paper towel. Once you let this baby dry, all you have to do is grab some mounting tape. I found this virtually invisible mounting tape from Scotch that seemed to work quite well. Super hard to peel off the backing though. Then put it in place, make sure you get it straight, and you're done. <laughs> what a difference, right? Thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. If there's anything else you'd like me to try out in a DIY, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys soon.